guys! It's Mad About Animals Mags, the animal well fairy, a mythical creature with a brand new Master of Science degree in International Animal Welfare Ethics and Law. One of the things I had to do to get that shiny, shiny title was write two papers and give presentations on them. And that happened this summer. So I paused the YouTube channel that I had just started. Retroactively, that may have been a bad time to start a YouTube channel. But now I've returned back in Hello. I had the honor and delight of attending the Let Freedom Ring Liberty Party at New Life Animal Sanctuary. Uh, you can tell because I picked up some sick merch. I'm a simple girl. I see something with a rat on it. I buy a thing with a rat on it. New Life Animal Sanctuary. Their slogan is Life After Labs, and they are an incredible sanctuary which has rescued over a thousand animals and currently provides a home to over 200 permanent residents who are getting to live the life of comfort and safety that they deserve after being retired from laboratory experiments. It's heartwarming to see all these different species of animals thriving, but it's also a harrowing reminder of just how many species are used in laboratory experiments. I think a lot of us just think of rabbits and like lab rats or the proverbial guinea pigs as like these species used in animal experimentation. We know how I feel about rats, but I understand that they are not as beloved by society at large. There are other animals held in much higher esteem by the American public. Cats and dogs are super beloved here, so surely we wouldn't use them. Oh, would you look at that? Who could have anticipated that that would be a misdirect? on my channel about the plight and suffering of animals of all species. We are all shocked. These are the self-reported numbers of animals held in American labs in one year. Even if you don't care about rats the way you absolutely should, there are probably animals you care about being used in experiments, some of which involve pain without pain medication being provided. Again, this is self-reported by labs and not things I'm making up right now for shock value. Meanwhile, rats, mice, and birds bred for research aren't even covered under the Animal Welfare Act, they quite literally don't even count. We have no idea exactly how many are being used in labs or what's being done to them. I'm definitely going to make a separate deep dive into all of that. But that's not what this video is actually about. I just felt like it was important to give some basic sense of scope of how many animals are kept in laboratories each year and why the work New Life Animal Sanctuary is doing is so important. A lot of laboratories will terminate Rita's kill animals when they're done using them, often for the sake of convenience rather than as part of an experiment. So when New Life says they're able to provide life after labs for animals, labs will willingly surrender their subjects to this place where these animals can finally be seen as individuals and cared for accordingly. New Life provides such a loving environment for them and getting to witness that for myself was utterly magical. So much thought was put into providing for each individual animal. I always feel like the most important element for animal welfare is creating opportunities for species-specific behavior, and New Life Sanctuary made sure that their landscape was enriched to provide for everyone. For example, these piggies had a mud wallow that came with complimentary snoot boops. Boop! These pigs had a shade structure with comfy straw. There was a pond being very much enjoyed by the duckies. And there were tons of super fun climbing structures and play spaces for the goats. That tunnel up at the top of that building connects the indoor cat room with an enclosed outdoor space for them to experience the joys of the great outdoors without putting them in danger or putting any native species in danger from them. This system is a catio, like a cat patio. It's gaining increasing popularity and I think it's super cool. Other animals with indoor and outdoor access include the bunnies and chickens who, as you can see, get to share this straw filled play space together and they also have access to an indoor space which is where more rabbits, guinea pigs, ratties are housed. The situations these animals come from are often devastating and it makes me just want to take them in my arms and cuddle them or at least give them lots of scratches and pets but Unfortunately, I didn't have the option. Just lying, I got to pet so many animals. Like this piggy who came over to seek out nose scratches. I pet the cutest, sweetest little black and white goat. I pet another type of pig. This absolutely angelic cow was begging for chin scratches. 
So I gave the cow chin scratches. I pet a third type of pig. I pet some dogs and sheep and llamas who I don't have footage of. But this is me petting my new best friend, Harmony. We were wearing matching yellow flower crowns and her ears are the softest things I've ever touched. Getting to meet Harmony was very special because we had something in common besides our adorable little yellow flower crowns. In early July when we met, Harmony and I had both recently lost animals who were very special to us. Harmony's companion Hamilton passed away just a few weeks before the Let Freedom Ring celebration. His life was honored with a very beautiful tree planting ceremony in the space he shared with Harmony. Guests were given the opportunity to paint rocks to put at the base of Hamilton's tree, which I did. And around the same time that Harmony lost Hamilton, I very suddenly lost my sweet rat, Luke. Luke was the first boy rat I've ever had. He was an absolute cuddle bug, a sweetheart, and the first official secretary of the Mad About Animals Mags channel. I'm so glad I got to put this sweet little memorial to him at the base of Hamilton's tree. As devastatingly painful as it is to lose a little animal friend and it always is. There is a silver lining to saying goodbye to one little soul, which is that it gives me space to welcome others in need. The timing of Luke's passing, as unexpected as it was, gave me a beautiful gift because there was one more type of animal I got to pet at New Life. These little baby rats. The founder of Paws and Claws Little Critter Rescue was already volunteering at the Let Freedom Ring event, and she was kind enough to bring me two baby rats who were found in an abandoned vehicle. So this is my first time meeting the little ladies I now call my Ellas. I made a whole video about their baby cage that you should check out, and I got to take them home that very day and put them in it. Bringing home the new babies and honoring the lives of Hamilton and Luke was very meaningful, but also bittersweet. I wanted to end with something that was all sweet, no bitter. What this Liberty Party is commemorating is the best Independence Day ever, which was the July 7th liberation of a group of Göttingen mini pigs. In 2015, New Life Animal Sanctuary gave a home to 31 pigs formerly used in laboratory experiments. They are the definition of being given life after labs. They have food, they have shelter, they have company from pigs and people alike, but you know what else they have? An annual watermelon smash! For an extra donation, you could procure a watermelon to smash for the piggies, which obviously isn't something that I personally would be interested in doing. Lying again! I totally bought a watermelon and then I totally smashed it and then the piggies totally ate it. Seeing all these piggies get the delicious treats they deserve and watching them have so much enjoyment out of it just like makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. And I used present tense because yes, it, it made me feel warm and fuzzy inside at the time, but it also made me feel warm and fuzzy all over again rewatching the footage for this video. And also it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside just thinking about it. I don't know, there's just a lot of warm and fuzziness. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my experience at the New Life Animal Sanctuary Life After Labs Liberty Party. Four months ago. It's such a cool place to be and explore and I got to interact with so many sweet, loving animals who deserve everything good in this world and nothing bad. Between the tours, the rock painting, the watermelon smash, New Life really made the whole experience so interactive. It felt like we were part of the sanctuary's work, which we were by donating. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider throwing even a dollar or two over to New Life Animal Sanctuary. Even if you're not in a place where you can donate, you can also help laboratory used animals by avoiding products that are tested on animals, which is a shocking number of them. And in America, that does still include cosmetics. I like to use the websites Cruelty Free Kitty or Ethical Elephant to quickly check whether a product is tested on animals or not. As always, I have no affiliation with any of these organizations. These are just websites I find useful. <laughs> I promise no one is paying me to promote things to my, my 55 followers. Aw, 66? Guys, you're the best. There's so many of you. Um, also, like and subscribe so there's even more of you. Uh, and leave a comment down below letting me know which animal in this video made you the happiest or um, I don't know, leave a fact about animal testing that makes you unhappiest. And now an outro featuring how big and brave baby Stella the ratty has gotten. And note that it's only featuring baby Stella and not baby Rosella. Rosella's still uh, coming out of her shell.
well, and that's okay too. Take it away, me and Stella. Stella just crawled up onto my shoulder. Oh no, I think I startled her by speaking, but she did it of her own accord and it was really cute. This is mid-November, by the way. And do you wanna go back down? Cool, you're welcome to. Ran up my arm earlier. Can you do it again? You're doing so good. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, nicely done.